Okay, so this is Wolf from Alpha, and I'm going to show you how to use this to check your children's math homework. Okay, let's just start off with uh, some math, and I, I, I just Googled a whole bunch of stuff just to find some examples. So this isn't maybe the best example, but here are some questions like here. State the derivative of each function, uh, differentiate. Uh, first of all, this is a bad homework assignment, okay, because these are all, one, they're all x, and they're saying assume that you're taking the derivative with respect to x, but it doesn't say that. Um, state the differentiate. Okay, so we can take derivative. Let's just pick one of these, uh, here, like this one. g of x equals x to the 3 halves. Okay, so let's just, um, let's just write, let's just write out just like they did. g of x equals x to the 3 halves. And then I'm going to say derivative of g. Let's see if that does it. Computing can take a second. Okay, so there's your input function. Um, domain. Here's the derivative right there. Derivative of x to the three halves is three square root of x over two. That's it. Pretty simple, right? Um, okay, let's look at another problem. Let's see. I found one. Here's Here's some other stuff. This one actually has the uh, the answers with it. Let's see. Which one do I want? Um, I had some other ones. Let's see that in here that I liked. Okay, let's just do this one. Okay, so here's here's some other. This one have the I just googled algebra two homework. Uh, let's try. Um, Let's try this one right here, okay? So the, the one thing you do have to know is uh, how do I take um, the cubed root? Uh, it's hard to write that mathematically, so I'm going to write that as to the one-third power. So this is 125x to the ninth to the one-third power. Okay, so let's go back over here to our thing, and I'm just going to write 125x to the... Was it x to the third? Gosh, I can't remember. There it is. x to the ninth. x to the ninth. All of that to the one third power. So there's the result. Let's see, is that the same as what they had? They had five x to the third. Well, I guess you could say that is the same. I'm surprised it didn't simplify it. Oh, there it is. Okay, alternative forms, assuming x is positive. Okay, that's good. Okay, what about what about uh, this one right here? Uh, cube has a volume of s v equals s cubed, where s is the length of the side. Find the side if the cube has a volume of 8,000 cubic centimeters. This is a word problem, but if you can write this down as an equation or two equations, you'll be okay. So let's, let's go up here. So I'm going to say v equals s, let's go v equals s cubed, comma, uh, v equals 8,000. That's it. Those, that's what we were given. I didn't say solve for s, but Wolfram Alpha is going to say, hey, you know, I could solve for s if you want to. And so if we scroll down here, s equals 20. And that's what they had. Okay. Uh, let's see if there's another, here's another word problem. Uh, t equals 8 root t. What's the t temperature? Uh, when is, what's the temperature, what's the time when the temperature is this? So if you just type in this equation and then lowercase or uppercase t equals 48, you'd get the, the time. Um, okay, so, you know, you can enter in a lot of the simpler things just, just like that. Just enter it straight into Wolfram Alpha and it will give you an answer. I'm not saying this is how you should do your homework. I'm saying this is how you would check your homework. Okay, But it's a great tool, and I think that you can really um, use it in lots of different cool ways. So that's Wolfram Alpha.